understandably so but you know what isn't understandable the berber villager rush although with that being said i'm starting to understand it more and more we're back with wong sao aka drill time this is about 1800 to 1900 elo not team game one v one this strategy holds up boys and girls now sometimes as you're doing the Berber Villager Rush, you will run into some problems. If you don't know what the Berber Villager Rush is, uh, I highly recommend that you look at some of the other videos that outline the Berber Villager Rush. But the bottom line is you use your villagers to lame and you use your villagers as militia as well. Oh, look at that. Found some sheep. Now, the thing is, and why I actually like this game a lot, he's having a lot of difficulty finding his opponent. So, the Berber villager rush is significantly delayed in this game. Running into wolves, now you don't really want to use the weak villager, so pulling the weak villager back, switching her out with somebody new. This all costs time, especially at 1800 ELO. You think, did you see the board? No! Did not even see! Oh man! Super unfortunate. Sees the deer out here. Oh, by the way, this is not Arabia. For those of you who don't know, this is Runestone, which I think is a really cool map. I really enjoy myself some Runestone. It has all the feels of Arabia, but it has this cool little thing in the center. And this is actually the first Runestone game that I'm uploading, and I hope many more strategies will follow on Runestone. Thankfully, in the Berber Villager Rush, you get that loom very, very early on and he's just opting not to lame anymore and going to go for lumber the idea is that you tc drop your opponent once you have the eco rolling and if he could find this boar that would be huge for huang Sa. actually let's take a little bit of a look at blue here who is playing as the Mayans. This is a Twitch TV streamer name outlined over here. I'm not even Kerpoi. I, I oh man, just goes to show how good the poop lord names is. Oh, actually, might get one of his sheep back over here. Very good scouting from uh, both players. Sadly, Huangzhou has still not found his opponent. Uh, trying to see. Oh, this this villager. This villager is killing him over here. He could have definitely lame this boar at this point he might get actually really lucky if this villager just constructs a mill and he can snag that does he not realize now you're, you're probably wondering like 1800 elo how does huang so have this idle villager here for this dang long well the thing is huang so is actually only a 1200 player normally but with this strategy he has been able to increase his elo by a whopping 700 points and counting. I can't wait till he's up against the viper or something in that nature. Oh, pulls it back to the wood. I still don't think he's actually found where blue is. No, he still has no idea. Oh, this is really unfortunate. Still looking, still looking, still looking. He is eventually going to run into blue doe, right? I hope. I mean, at this point, it might not even work anymore. I mean, he spent all this effort trying to uh, make sure that, that this works. And he's probably thinking to himself, ah, eh, you know what? Not my day of the week. Wait a second, what's... Blue. Okay, I was going to say, you got to complete that barracks over here. Or sorry, that, uh, that mill over here. And, oh super greedy walls from blue and i don't think that's going to work out for him i think huang is going to come through somewhere over here before he gets this up but that being said i do like how he's walling from the middle to the left and then this woman over here is walling from the left to sorry from the right to the left and the left to the right and the up to the down and left to the middle. Poopler is losing his mind slowly but surely. Oh my god, six villagers on wood over here. I think these are just going to go right in. How many villagers does he have on food over here? Quite a bit. Looks like he took both his boar and now he's working on all of his sheep. He does have those two additional sheep 
from his opponent and I wouldn't be surprised if he switched these over to berries at some point. In the meantime, harass absolutely everything. Make it a little bit awkward with those palisade walls. Ooh, this spot right here is where I see a very, very good TC potential. And the reason that I say right here is because that could probably range some of the wood line as well. Wow. This might actually go down. Oh, come on, Blue. You're better than this. You're definitely going to be able to quick wall behind this, right? Ooh, does manage to find a kill? No. No, that villager is going to escape as well. I, I, I always, in these kind of situations, I want to talk about, like, the main idea behind this strategy and why it works or why something... Oh! I didn't even see that hole. That's crazy. Oh, and, oh no. Just make this stuff as inefficient as you can. I do like the militia edition, but there's so many villagers over here. Also, he has plenty of wood in the bank now. I think he, yeah. Dude. 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 What is this mill over here? Sure, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I suppose. Yeah, drop it right here right here is perfect yep on the berries it doesn't quite touch the wood anymore but i think that's good enough and you should definitely keep this garrison and hunt this down with the militia probably can get one villager over here before this does go down use the scout why why what's oh my gosh disaster all over the place you're probably thinking to yourself how in the world does this actually work? Huang Xiao is down. Five villagers at this time. And probably going to lose some in the process as well. He doesn't have a TC producing. And garrison. And this is potentially where everything changes. Oh no, now Blue has to run away. Looks like he's going to lose his militia. No, militia do get saved. That's at least kind of nice. This militia can get all of Nova. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. And that militia just ran into a full load of arrows. Let's see how much food does Twitch actually have in the banks. So, oh, no. Oh, no. He is just going for straight villagers. I think that's a good play. Uh, the only downside is he does not have enough wood to repair this continuously. And he overcommitted village... Is this really 1800 ELO drill time? I'm not too convinced anymore because I feel like people at this ELO should know that you can only have a total of 10 villagers garrisoned in your TC. Everything above that does not do additional damage. This is sloppy to say the least. How many does uh, drill time have in his TC? 10, of course. He knows the strategy. He knows what's up. He is going to try and win this TC fight, but I think this TC is not going to be enough. The one thing that Blue does have going for him, A, it's the villager lead, and B, he doesn't have any farms around his TC that are being denied. He's also not out that much food in comparison to... Oh, no, 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 oh, not like this, not like this. Ooh, they both lose one in that TC war. And I'm kind of liking uh, Blue's position a little bit more, to be honest with you. Uh, no, 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 don't engage. Oh, man. Just throwing villagers left and right. 12 on wood over here. And how many do we have on wood? 20 on wood. Yeah, this should be, this should be GG. What now, boy -o? What now? What do you do now? How can you ever come back from this? You're donezo. You wrecked. Nothing is going to work out for you. Or is it? Look how much wood that Blue has invested into farms. And as much as I admire him for this, I think if I was up against this strategy and wanted to legitimately counter this, because I know exactly what he's going to do. I know exactly what 
Huangzhou is going to do. And that's another TC on this boy's face. He is behind. This might not work out for Huangzhou. But on the plus side, his opponent has relatively... Oh, the same wood. Oh, but that's a lot of villagers that could potentially go down. Repair, repair, repair. Re oh, no. Oh, Blue, you got so cocky. So overconfident. No, he can... Oh, he doesn't have the stone! Oh, dipstick! Oh, no! Drill time! You absolute nub! Oh! He would have had all of those villagers! I was about to say, Blue just got overconfident. And he's going to throw absolutely everything away. There's no way that Huang Sao can still pull off a victory, right? He's 10 villagers behind. He doesn't have a TC. It's over. This game is clearly over. I mean, honestly, if you're blue, all you have to do is keep this safe. You already know that he's going to want to drop this TC over here. I don't know why you're not walling over on this side. It definitely would have committed to some walls. Ooh, ooh, over here is even better, but I don't know if he can get that up anymore. Oh, he's going to go for it. Nope, nope, denied. Ooh, you could snipe these palisade walls. Uh, no real good spot to drop it. Awkward, awkward, awkward. Maybe here in the back could be a possibility. You got to pull one of these villagers to quick wall. Oh, it's, no. oh, there's always a spot. There's absolutely always a spot. Militia are out here trying to do as much damage to these villagers as possible. I think at this point you have so much eco lead. No, 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 blue. What are you doing? No, 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 don't fight this. Don't he thinks he's out of wood. He's not out of wood. He can repair this forever. Oh my god, way to throw it. Way to throw it. Oh my god. Oh my oh my god, he has I can't watch this. Why? Why are you fighting this? You absolute dipstick. I can't believe I'm watching this. Blue had this game in the bank. He got overconfident. And he just threw all of his villagers. Absolutely every single one of them. To their deaths. I mean, the crazy thing is, it's still relatively even. And now he realizes, oopsies, I've made a mistake. Really? Really, Blue? Now you realize you've made a mistake. Oh my god. And it's 38 villagers to 38 villagers. What is this game? I don't even know who's going to win. I mean, I think he probably saw the score and was super overconfident, but my god, why did you think you could take down that TC just by vilifying it? That just seemed extraordinarily overconfident. Like, there was no reason to do that whatsoever. And at this point, could actually just construct another lumber camp and potentially drop at some point. Uh, also, at this point, I would definitely recommend stealing these farms. This is what I love to do. Love to steal farms. If I can possibly just run in, steal, run away, delete. Steal farm, delete, steal farm, delete, steal farm, delete. What? Why? Why are you... <laughs> I really don't understand. Why are you creating farms? You need the wood, Huang style. I would have definitely popped down uh, a lumber camp, I think, in this situation. But um, he's the pro, so uh, I guess we're just going to keep analyzing it for what it is. Also, how has Blue... Oop, not view lock. How has Blue not made it to feudal age yet now normally in these kind of situations i say don't go feudal age because you won't have any benefit from it but with that being said if you manage to get men at arms out over here or 
potentially get an archer range. I know you're not going to have a DC for a while, but who cares? Your opponent is still heavily, heavily, heavily in Dark Age. Instead, we have this weird TC fight that seems to be going on forever. I mean, the game has stabilized, which is the weird part, but I guess stabilize is a, a relative term. Also, these farms are starting to expire, so maybe some scouts. I think if you get some scouts out, could actually end the game right here. Now, Red, or sorry, Huang Sao is out of wood, so he's doing something desperate over here. He's just trying to fight this to the best of his ability. Repair, 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 whatever you can. Fight, 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 fight. Run, 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 run. Uh, who's winning this game right now? According to the standings, it is actually Huang Sao. So I want to see. Oh, one too many in there. And an idol over here. That's a little bit sloppy uh, from him. Uh, okay, uh, 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 I don't even know words anymore because this is just the most awkward stalemate I have seen in a while. However, Feudal is now reached at this point both players at absolute minimal wood a tower a tower oh but oh kill it kill it uh Wong Sao that's like a free 50 wood that you're getting on him kill that tower please there's six HP on it Huang style. Okay. That was uh, the slowest <laughs> destruction of a foundation I've ever seen in my life. Ooh, these villagers are actually taking damage. I don't know how they're taking damage. Should not be taking damage, but I guess that's where the arrows are firing. So then the range of your TC increases. Getting double bid axe, that seems like a good idea overall. Actually, if he could get a um, blacksmith with a... Uh, fletching upgrade, that would be huge as well, but I don't think he has that kind of wood to spend. How is Huang Sao's wood? Oh my god. Both players here at the absolute limit of what they're able to produce, and I'm still favoring blue. I don't see Huang Sao winning this, even after... That massive, massive throw. <gasps> no, no, no. The wood is out. The wood is out. No, it's not. No, it's not. You just didn't garrison enough. Oh, that's why he's losing the... Oh, he's trying to get these villagers over here. But I think the TC is now going to go down. Is he thinking to invest into... I don't know. He already has a, a barracks. If he invests into, say, for example a stable and maybe collected some food over here and just produce scouts i think that could work out relatively favorable we have some villager engaging over here uh, i don't even know what to say anymore about this game I, I really can't tell who is winning i mean obviously the score says that blue is winning but i'm not too oh misclick the house will fight some more have some s'mores, have some fun, fight, 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 fight. I love, I love how he's dying the house, and it actually matters. The funny thing is, he should actually take down this house because Drill Time would not be able to construct any more villagers. By the way, Huang Cell is called Drill Time as well. I think I mentioned that in the beginning. I just have been mesmerized by what is going on in this game. Who has more villagers, even? And look, even that super weak villager can just run away due to that Berber bonus and actually should run that woman away. Not quite there. Oh, that man also eats it. Blue is doing a really, really good job finding positive engagements. This woman's going to run away. He probably has like all three of these clicked accidentally. And uh, this game is definitely not over. Even Blue's massive fro. Oh, could actually get a villager here. No. Nope. I'm going to speed this up because I feel like this is going to go on forever. I know villagers are dying left and right, but uh, why have you forsaken? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. 
That's funny. That's funny. I mean, he's just pulling everybody. Uh, we're 40 minutes in game at this point, and there's no end in sight. It's just a continual vil fight. But I would definitely put my money on blue in this situation. Going for a back lumber camp over here. I don't know if I agree with that necessarily as drill time is right over here but he misclicked a lot of these villagers to this spot and that's not a really good spot for him to be in because how are these villagers ever going to bring back that lumber oh never mind there's a hole now he, he does need to click these two back over but uh it's fine don't worry about it we're going to speed this game up because I don't know how much more of this I can take. This is one of the reasons I really hate the Berber villager rush. 69 pop. Nice. 69 pop. Nice. I think Huang Stella knows that this game is over. I just think that he doesn't want to call it just in case he is actually ahead in villagers. But the fact of the matter is, he's not. Not even close. And to make matters worse, he's in Dark Age. With that being said though, he's, he's actually finding some, uh, some villager kills over here. I'm assuming that Blue, at some point... We'll make an archery range. Oh, going for a tower. I think that was a bad play. I think this was a really bad play over here. Because this is just going to get battered down basically immediately. And that's another 125 stone down the drain. In addition, it's 50 wood down the drain as well. Okay, barracks, barracks. Huh? Are you going to go full... Men at arms? Like, what's the what's the plan here, man? What's the plan? He already has militia. He has tons of militia. They're called Berber villagers. He can vil fight you forever. What 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 is my life? What what have things? Where did things take a wrong turn for me to cast this for so long? We are we are fifty eagles. Okay, eagles is the play. Finally, he has enough to produce three eagles to hopefully handle these villages. But there's a lot of vills over here. Vill counts still heavily in Blue's favor. I don't see him losing this. That's, that's why I'm fast-forwarding. I don't see how Blue could possibly lose in this situation. I had mercy today. You win because I let you. I don't know about that, Huang Sao. I think you were very, very happy when he started throwing all of those kamikaze villagers into your TC. Actually, Blue almost threw the game right there and then. Now, just because this strategy is very, very strong does not mean that it's a failsafe. Does not mean that you always win. Just to quickly analyze some things that went horribly, horribly wrong for drill time in this game. I think not scouting his opponent was huge. He was quite unlucky with the scouting information that he had. He wasn't able to lame very many of his opponent's resources. Another big turning point. When he did have blue on the ropes and he was starting to shoot a whole bunch of villagers he was lacking one singular stone that he did not manage to get in time before that tc went down finally i think what really worked in blue's favor is that all of his farms were in the back and that Huang Sa was not able to threaten that eco, not waste that eco from his opponent. Other than that, I mean, if, if Blue had done even just 
a couple of small things wrong early on, this whole game could have gone in a different direction. Imagine if Blue had like three or four farms constructed when he had that additional wood and wouldn't have been able to construct or repair his TC, I should say. Also look at the KD over here. Heavily, heavily in Huang Style's favor. I guess if you don't have any eco, you can't kill any of my eco stands here as well. But Blue simply outproduced him, which actually is what the Huang Cell tries to do. I hear my little daughter -o in the back, Poop Lord Jr. I'm gonna have to spend some quality time with her. Thank you guys so much for walking. Much appreciated. Poop Lord out. Hey, little Poop Lord. What's up? Alright, alright, I'm coming.